What's up guys? My name's Zach and I'm back with another video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at what's on my Moto 360. Android Wear is very powerful. That being said, out of the box, your Android Wear device will be plain and simple showing you all the Google Now cards and notifications your heart desires. This is where third-party developers come in. Without wasting any more time, here's a quick rundown of the apps that make my Moto 360 tick. First things first. With Android Wear in its current state, there's no easy or fast way to get to a list of your apps. I've even found that because of this limitation, I've been deterred from downloading many apps at all. Luckily, Android Wear version 5.1.1 changes this, allowing for a quick swipe from the right to access apps, contacts, and commands. The bad news is that this is only available on the LG Watcher Bane at the moment. And that happens to be the most expensive Android Wear watch to date. But not all is bad in the pre-5.1.1 world. Enter Android Wear Launcher. This little app allows for a swipe gesture that brings you a list of all your applications installed on your watch. Swipe over again and you get quick toggles to control things on your phone, without ever having to take your phone out of your pocket. Why install apps if you can't get to them? This launcher changes the standard clunkiness of Android Wear into a dream come true. So, now that I can get to all my apps, which ones do I actually use? Well, gathering information has never been easier. Today with the internet, you can look up anything you want to learn right from the web browser. And you can even look things up from your wrist now. Android Wear features Google Voice searches, which are some of the best in the biz. But on the watch, you are limited to search results and nothing more. So, the first application on my list is Atopedia. Atopedia allows you to do just that. Launching the app gives you one option, search for a topic. Once done, you'll be given a breakdown of categories tailored to your subject and generated through Wikipedia. As expected, you can swipe to the left to dig down into each category and read the full Wikipedia page. Powerful stuff if I do say so myself. And it has come in handy on more than one occasion when the standard Google result did not yield the information I wanted. Moving on, we have Google Keep. Keep is a watch app that gets installed directly from the phone app, and that's a good thing since it's one of the best note-taking or to-do list apps on the Play Store. In the recent update to Keep, you can pull up all your notes, check off completed tasks, create new tasks, and create reminders all from your watch. This helps you manage your life. Well, at least it does for me. If you were looking into an Android Wear device to be more productive, this is the app that can help you keep up to date with everything. See what I did there? Next up is Journey, for when instead of managing your life, you want to document it. This is another app installed on your watch when you install the phone application, and it functions as a digital journal. I've been using it for close to a year and have loved being able to look back at fun experiences I've had. The watch app allows you to pull up any of your recent journal entries and read its full contents. Journey is a nice watch app and definitely something to look into if you've been wanting to document your life while on the go or if you just need to remember what kind of sandwich you ate the day before. A smartwatch needs to be best at giving glanceable information. First and foremost, the time, followed by anything else that the user finds important. So far, the apps I've highlighted have done just that, but this notion also makes certain phone applications pretty desirable on a wrist. I love Instagram. The simplicity makes it super fun to use, and flipping through photos from friends or professional photographers couldn't be easier. That's how Instagram has amassed over 300 million monthly active users. The phone app itself is, well, glanceable. And that's what makes Instagram for Wear the perfect companion. Instagram for Wear lets you flip through your feed from your Android Wear device. View pictures, read comments, and like photos all to your heart's content. Finally, we have small wearables. The best way to describe this watch-specific app is as a toolbox. It is essentially six apps in one. From your watch, small wearables gives you access to your Twitter timeline, your photo gallery, a tip calculator, phone pager, toggleable phone settings, and best of all, Tasker tasks. I personally don't use Tasker very much, but I'm sure this feature will make many people happy. Basically, this is the most versatile application you can install on your watch. Twitter will allow you to scroll through your timeline, view pictures, or retweet a specific tweet. The photo gallery allows you to flip through a specific folder of pictures you have on your phone. 
The tip calculator and phone pager are self-explanatory, yet still very useful. Finally, the phone settings allows you to quickly view and manipulate some phone settings from your watch. Very handy. So there you have it. There's a look at all the applications that I use on my Moto 360. Do you have a specific application that you like using? If so, go ahead and comment down below so I can take a look. I'm always on the lookout for some new applications and would love to hear from you guys. Additionally, if you like the video, a thumbs up is always appreciated. If you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and that way you get notified right away when a new video comes out. Thanks and have a good one.